So today, Steven Crowder gets extremely racist to black farmers. If you don't know who Steven Crowder is, well, I'll bring you up to speed. Steven Crowder is a right-wing conservative who harassed Carlos Maza two years ago. How though? You ask? Well, watch this story from Inside Edition. This is what Mr. Gay Vox wants to do. Mr. Lispy Queer from Vox. This is one of the many comments conservative YouTube host Steven Crowder has made about journalist Carlos Maza. Maza hosts a show called Straight Through that looks at politics and the media on Vox's YouTube channel. But for years, he says he's been mocked by Crowder for being gay and Hispanic. And if something he was saying was not, had nothing to do with my political views, he was calling me a Lispy Queer and a Sprite and a Fairy and calling me gay Mexican and he would routinely make fun of the way that I spoke and uh, just do gay impressions. He made kind of gruesome sexual comments about me. Maza says he tried to deal with the abuse privately, flagged the videos to YouTube, but claims the company did nothing. So Maza edited together some of the clips where Crowder mentioned him and tweeted it. YouTube has since released a lengthy statement saying that while, quote, individually the flagged videos did not violate our community guidelines, however, in the subsequent days, we saw the wide spread harm to the YouTube community, resulting from the ongoing pattern of egregious behavior, took a deeper look and made the decision to suspend monetization. Quote, in order to be considered free in statement, all relevant issues with the channel need to be addressed, including any videos that violate our policies, as well as things like offensive merchandise, the statement read in part. Crowder has also been removed from the YouTube Partner Program. Crowder did not respond to InsideEdition.com's request for comment, but addressed YouTube's decision on his show. He said that his comments were harmless. He is the victim of forces that seek to silence him. Crowder says YouTube took down some of his videos as part of its broader crackdown on hateful and supremacist content, but believes what he said are jokes. Keep in mind, for context, out of those thousands of videos, At least a few hundred are ours. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't wow. make a, a delineation between white supremacist and joke. For Maza, who said he's received death threats and had his personal information published online, the harassment and the threat of potential violence are all too real. Maza says allowing language like this will make LGBTQ people leave YouTube. I hope that YouTube recognizes that the end result of this is not some happy medium. It's a place where only bullies operate. If the teacher never intervenes, the kids who are getting bullied at the playground will leave the playground. And that's what's happening to you. This is InsideEdition.com. Okay, so now that you know everything about Steven Crowder, let's go watch this video of Steven Crowder going on a wildly racist tirade against black farmers. As tweeted by Jason S. Canbell, who is part of of Media Matters. I don't know where you find this many farmers of color, uh, but they did. And 5.2 billion are being allocated exclusively for colored farmers. Farmers of color! Farmers of color! Roll the- Okay, so, so first he said colored farmers. Wait, you didn't hear it correctly? Well, listen again. Uh, but they did. And 5.2 billion are being allocated exclusively for colored farmers. Farmers of color! Farmers of color! Roll the date! Okay, now that you listen to this clip for the second time, I'm gonna let this video play a little longer because it gets worse. Begin today's show looking at a major provision in President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill that aims to address decades of discrimination against Black, Hispanic, 
Native American and Asian American farmers who've historically been excluded from government agricultural programs. The American Rescue Plan sets aside $10.4 billion dollars for agriculture support and allocates about half the funds to farmers of color who are, quote, subjected to racial or ethnic prejudice because of their identity as members of a group, unquote. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights confirmed as long ago as 1965, the U.S. Department of Agriculture discriminated against black farmers, but little was done to address the problem. Ago. Yeah, uh, most happy about the new policy, these people. So, yeah. I'm a black, uh, I'm a plow, man. I'm going to play that corn. Go get a job, this. I'm the president of plowing that air. You. You hear that too? Because Stephen Crowder mocked a black person because of the way they speak. I thought the last thing they would want to do is be farmers. Wasn't that a big problem yeah. for hundreds of years? Yeah. Isn't that why Arsenio yeah. Hall called himself the urban man's Johnny Carson? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Are people, are people lining up out in the middle of Cornfield, Iowa for new dunks? <laughs> how would you prove this, by the way? Like, how would you prove yeah. that you've been discriminated against? You don't against? have to. You just well, say. Well, I didn't get that loan. Sir, you had no credit. Well, that should not have stopped me from getting a loan. I planted a henna sea tree. <laughs> But it's not growing. Well, I, well, technically it did grow, but that shit ain't XO. Mm -hmm. I put it on the ground. I planted a VSOP XO tree. I'm getting in some niche esoteric cognac humor, motherfucker. Don't um, white people just go to their neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that what white people do? Detroit. Yeah. Turns out the, uh, the, 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 the soil content is a high level of meth. Yeah, crazy. Uh, well, wow, I didn't know. That and teeth. There's yeah, just exactly. teeth <laughs> littered everywhere. <laughs> and uh, by the way, he's in my arugula. <laughs> also, he just made an, a horrible, unfunny joke about black farmers. Stephen Crowder definitely made a right, racist tirade against black farmers by treating them like shit. Black farmers deserve a lot more respect than this. I'm surprised that YouTube still hasn't taken any, and I mean any, action towards Steven Crowder. YouTube will probably suspend Steven Crowder's monetization again like last time, but that's not enough. And what I want you two to do is to stop derogatory behavior like this from Steven Crowder on this great platform. If YouTube doesn't do something about it now, then the YouTube Apocalypse 3 will arrive soon. I can't throw all the advertisers to pull the ads from this platform again. More in a story, of course. Steven Crowder is a racist piece of shitty garbage. <laughs>